guys, welcome back to Girl Jazz, and today I am trying the handy heater. So I'm actually at the Christmas capital of Texas, and it is currently 43 degrees outside. I don't function in cold, so I'm really, really hoping that this will help me. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. And if it works, great. I'm bummed that I did not have it when I went to ICE in Gaylord. It's really pretty, too. But it was absolutely, literally freezing in there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. If I could take it out, that would help. So it's not too heavy. So it's nice and sleek. I'm just afraid that I might burn myself if it gets too warm. But, of course, I'm pretty sure that's what you guys are watching for. Make sure that... It... Yay! They've upgraded. They got the Type-C USB charging cord. All right, handy heater. Let's turn you on. Actually, let's look at the instructions. We're talking about heat here. And I'm very accident prone. It says save these instructions. Uh, yeah, it'll probably get lost after this. Heating next. It has four different settings. We have the charger, we have the power button. And they have the charging lights, which is these three, these four lights right here, which obviously aren't on, but um, that's where the charging lights are. We already know how to charge it, blah, blah, blah. Anything else that I need to know? Place it around your neck. I can do that part. I've already, I just got to press the button. Cool, got that. When done, press power button until it turns off. Store in a cool, dry location until the next use. When on use, be sure to store your handy heater freedom in a cool, dry place. Spot clean as neat. Oh, spot clean it? That means you're going to get sweaty, which means that it's going to work, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. All right, anything else that I need to know? So why do I need to keep this again? Do not allow any liquids to get inside the handy heater freedom do not submerge any liquid why would you put it in any liquid i don't understand that okay do not expose handy heater freedom to a wet or damp area what if it's my neck and then it starts getting damp do not attempt to remove or replace the included battery so you don't need to add any batteries to it always turn off unit when not in use blah -de blah blah okay i still don't understand why i need to keep this but okay all righty then i'm going to turn it on Okay, there it goes. So, that is the first setting. That's the second, third, and fourth. A little toasty. Not too bad. The main areas that I fill it right now are right here. I don't have anything in the back. Oh, okay, so it does warm up a little bit in the back. And it's more of a very light warmth. I don't have an exact temperature, so I guys can't give it to you. Plus, I don't know how much it's still warming up and how hot it will get. But we're going to turn it up to two. Okay. Give it a minute to warm up. I'm actually going to put it on the fourth speed, the fourth and the highest temperature. I'm going to put it on so this way we don't drag out this video longer than necessary. Ooh. Okay, that's, I'm not sure how comfortable that is. Ladies, or anybody with long hair, should I say, you're going to have to make sure to move your hair. Okay, not too bad. Sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and start walking and see how well this keeps me warm. Alright guys, um, first of all, let me say, you still need a beanie when you're out here in the cold. I regret that I did not bring one, even though I was suggested to bring one, and I'm too stubborn and hard-headed to listen. <laughs> so I got to give credit. <laughs> Anyways, overall, um, it does get pretty warm, especially on the highest setting. Um, I'm trying to debate on how I should rate this because it does get really warm, but I'm still cold because the only thing that's warm on me is my neck. I need to go find some more of those handy warmers <laughs> to keep the rest of me warm. Somebody had the right idea. <laughs> yeah, guys, no, I'm like that. So, um, overall, so far, so good. 
um, keeping me warm. I am holding my hands over here to keep up my hands warm as well because I'm too stubborn to bring gloves as well because I'm like, it's not that cool. Yeah, I'm stubborn. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and continue walking so I can hurry up and possibly warm up and get back to the car. So let's go. <laughs> Right, guys so I've been walking around for about 30 minutes with this thing on um, I actually had to turn it down because it was really really too it was too hot for my neck <laughs> um, but I have noticed I turned it down put the hood over my head and it does help um, kind of capture the warmth a little bit more for those that are like me where your hands get really really cold being outside before anything else it also worked as a great hand warmer and that's part of the reason why you see me throughout the video just holding myself like this because it's cold. <laughs> I'm in the North Pole. Look, you guys. Same as right there. But I might be on this naughty list now that I'm in a sleigh. Oops. <laughs> so, who wants to donate some Christmas presents to me? Because I've been a good girl other than this. That's my, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, overall, I'd say it works pretty well. Um, I was hoping to warm myself all over, but that obviously isn't realistically going to happen. <laughs> um, but overall, I mean, it'll add more heat. Um, just got to be careful not to turn it up too high. All right, guys. I wanted to get back on Santa's good list. Unless there's people over there being really, really loud <laughs> and enjoying their time out here, which you don't really blame them. So I came over here and said the little bulb, which is where I really wanted to start out anyways. But, overall, it works pretty well, as I mentioned, with the hand warmer. Um, for 40 bucks, I'd say it's worth it. Um, as far as how long it'll last, that's all going to depend on your level of how high you have it on. I will test that out and put that down in the description below. Because I didn't test that out beforehand, obviously, so you guys see me open it up. Um, so, I think that might be all the questions that you have. If not, I'll try and answer them if they pop up. So overall, I would highly recommend it, um, but also make sure that you have layers on your legs, unlike me, and gloves. If you don't have gloves, you can always warm your hands up here. But um, it'll add some, uh, it'll give you some added heat and give some freedom to move around as well. So I would highly recommend it, um, especially if you're like me, very very cold and grumpy. It's definitely worth it. <laughs> Alright guys, if you want to see more of me, you can check out my YouTube, my, my other videos on here, um, as well as other social media platforms. Love hearing from you guys. In the meantime, stay tuned, stay jazzy. Thanks for watching!